Organizers of the Australian GP are summoned by the FIA for violating safety protocols. Hello speed lovers! Welcome to another video. After an unusual race in Melbourne marked by accidents and restarts considered unnecessary, the organizers of the Australian GP were summoned for violating FIA protocols and safety measures. In addition to the three red flags during the race involving accidents, there was a fourth red flag, the most surreal of all, Formula One fans invaded the track before the end of the race. Yes, that's right. A large group of spectators managed to break through the security barriers and access the track while the race was still in progress. And to make matters worse, fans managed to reach Nico Hulkenberg's Haas, which was stopped at the exit of Turn 2 after finishing 7th. The stewards found that the car still had the red light flashing, which means that the car was in dangerous conditions and with possible risk of electric shock. The FIA concluded that the event organizers violated Article 12.2.1.H of the organization's International Sporting Code and demanded that the promoter urgently present a formal remediation plan. The FIA also alleges that this negligence created an unsafe environment for spectators, drivers and race officials, putting the entire event at risk. The matter will be referred to the World Motor Sport Council, the competent body, for further investigation, in order to determine whether any additional measures or penalties beyond the remediation plan could be applied. The investigation will consider existing protocols to examine how the track violation occurred and how fans were able to access Hulkenberg's car in a risky situation. The FIA will also review the investigation and conduct it in consultation with regional police. The promoter has until June 30, 2023 to conduct its investigation, but the stewards claim that this would have to be approved by the FIA. What is left for us as spectators and admirers of the sport is to await the progress of the investigations and hope that this type of problem does not happen again. It is difficult to understand how this type of security breach could occur at such a grand event. We hope that the organizers of the next races will use the Australian GP as an example to anticipate and provide better security measures so that nothing that happened in Melbourne will happen again. After all, no one wants a tragedy to tarnish the history of Formula One, not out of negligence. If you stayed until here, thank you for watching us. We will be back at any moment with more information about the world of F1.